Those of you who know me well know I love display technology. Things like LED scrollers and electromechanical displays like split flap displays and flip dot displays. I don't know what it is I love about them. Maybe it's the sound, and I, I think that has a big part of it, especially with the electromechanical displays, which have a beautiful sound associated with them. I grew up outside of Philadelphia, and if you ever go to 30th Street Station, there is a beautiful split flap display in the center of the station, right over the information booth, and the sound of the letters changing really fill the entire atrium, and it's just beautiful. It looks nice, and it sounds nice, and uh, so I've been after split flap displays for a while. I've been looking for them online. I wanted to play with them myself. Maybe one day make one. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I have a, uh, a flip clock on the wall, but unfortunately, a flip clock is a lot more basic than a split flap display because a flip clock's axle moves at just a constant rate, whereas a split flap display, in order to display a different letter on each flap, it has to know where it is and it has to know where it needs to go. So there'll be more complex electronics and mechanics going on in a split flap, dis in a proper like split flap display. I've even tried making my own electromechanical displays before. This I called it the wall walnut alpha display. I carved it out of a solid piece of walnut. I milled it out using a CNC mill. Uh, and it's not meant to be practical. I just wanted to see what it felt like to make some weird, interesting letter display. Uh, if I flip it over, you can see the, the spots that I milled out there. There's an acrylic wheel in there that has a bunch of engraved letters, stepper motor, teensy USB is going to drive it all. If you want to see and hear this thing in action, uh, I'll put a link in the description of this video to another video which shows it. And I think you'll see what I mean about the sound because sound is very important to me for these things. And uh, I think it really it's really what sells it and it's really what I like the most. And in fact, I think it was in the process of making this and then eventually hearing what it sounded like where I realized that I love the sound of electromechanical displays so much. So as I mentioned, I have been after split flap displays for a while. I've never gotten my hands on one, but I did recently get my hands on a flip dot display. I found this on eBay. Each pixel here has two uh, uh, electromagnets behind it, and you can kind of see them there on the side. There's a, a whole array of them there. You're only seeing some of them, of course. And one will flip it over so that a on, on this little physical pixel, uh, there's a, a fluorescent side and a black side, and essentially just flips it over on the axle. Uh, these are used in construction signs a lot. Um, the, the cool thing about them is that when you send the electricity to flip the pixels, you can then cut the electricity and the display will, st will stay the way it is. Uh, someone on, uh, I think it was on Twitter, had said to me, that's just basically the way an e-ink display works, but on a very like larger level, which is an interesting concept. I'd never thought of it before. I have no idea how to get this thing working. I mean, I have some ideas, but I haven't tested anything yet. Uh, on the back, there is a 50 pin ribbon connector. So I think I'll be connecting to that and I presume it's gonna be some kind of matrix and I'll be flipping, uh, uh, flipping the polarity and seeing what effect it has. I hooked up uh, seven volts to a couple pins and saw a couple pixels flip. So. It's working, I just am gonna have to figure out how to map everything out. And it's possible that maybe just a display driver board connected to this will, will do the trick, or it's possible I'll have to brew my own, we'll see. I'm gonna have to leave this for a summer project, but I was so excited about getting this, I wanted to show you guys. And maybe someone out there has any experience with these, let me know, leave a comment. Thank you for watching these videos, I appreciate it. Uh, have a great day today, and I appreciate every comment, share, uh, you know, thumb up there, or whatever you've got throw it my way. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. I'll have another video for you tomorrow. Bye.